Hello, Virgo. Welcome to my channel. Sorry, I'm just a little tilted here. Let's try to fix that so you can at least see my eyes. Ah, no, not that much. Gonna be able to see the cards too. Okay, all right. Um, welcome if you're new. Welcome to all my subscribers. I appreciate you very, very much. Um, everything's opening back up again, so here we go. Life is on. It is on, guys. And please remember to take what resonates and leave the rest behind, okay? Not every reading is for everybody. I read for a collective, okay? And please like and subscribe if you enjoy this reading. I do not do reversals. I only read straight up, okay? Ten of Swords is where you're at right now. Feeling stabbed in the back. And then look at the card. Okay, this is Gregory St Gre Gregory Scott Tat Tarot. And I love these cards. They're so depictive. Okay, so that's where you're at right now. There's something that is just done. Okay, let's see what else we got. Three of Pentacles, Aries. So you may be dealing with an Aries. Someone that wasn't quite honest could be a boss or a father also. Okay. Or you could have Aries in your chart. But from what I can see here, Ten of Swords, this is what's crossing you. Working with others. Okay. Situation. And, and I see this as a work situation. I don't know what it is to you, but as I'm looking at the situation, it looks like it's something to do with a work or boss. Because this is this is the past, so this is this is a father figure or a boss of some kind. It wasn't quite honest. There's some lying, cheating kind of energy here. Somebody being deceptive. This could be you, could be the other person. I just read the energy, guys, okay? In your immediate future, we do have a brand new start, although it is immature of nature. It's, it's a new start regardless. So you're gonna get a message about this really soon. In the immediate future, actually, so. Uh, factors affecting the situation is juggling too many energies at once in the in the now in the plane of the earth you're juggling too many things trying to keep it together probably because of this deception in the past okay outside influence is leo and needing to have strength we have leo and aries predominantly on this board so you could be dealing with an airy Aries or a Leo. Hopes and fears is that somebody will offer you something. Okay. I don't know if that's a hope or a fear, but there's two pages here with messages. Okay. Then we have the Four of Swords as the final outcome. Is this really where you want to be at the end of this? Best possible outcome is the Ace of Wands. So this is a, a, a passionate new start. So that's the best possible outcome, but we're gonna clarify it all. Okay, whoa, jumped right out there. So immediately what I'm getting just from that jumping out is a family situation. And I didn't even see the four of ones in the bottom. I was feeling that. This is a family situation. Somebody's trying to maybe save someone else, maybe a mother figure um, from going forward. Because this, this, this is moving forward. This is moving fast to that four of wands, that family, that home, that stability. 
okay? So this is what's happening. You've accepted an offer, no matter how premature it might be. And you're gonna go for it. That's my marriage card, guys. So there's marriage here. Definitely could be cancer. I get Cancer, Leo, and Aries on the board so far, so. Yeah, this is balancing out the scales. This is, this is being fair. So either you're gonna send a message or you're gonna get a message from someone that's gonna even things out in your home life, in your home situation, possible marriage, all right? Let's see what these outside influences are. Aquarian energy, wish fulfillment. Anything else? Yeah, there's plenty else. Money. Yeah. This is this is uh this is what you're juggling. If you like family and money, family and a wish or a desire that you have. This is the factors affecting the situation, okay? Outside influences is having to have strength, but what do you need to have strength with? A choice, a truth, a victory, and a tower, okay? Outside influences, bottom of the deck, we have the devil. Okay, so there is somebody here who possibly could have some kind of addiction. Um, could be people, places, things, it doesn't have to be. I'm feeling more of like a lustful. Sorry guys if my stuff is shaking. I'm trying to keep it as level as possible. Um, what I'm feeling with this is that There's a lot of lust here. A lot of passion that wants to come forward and win at all costs. Win no matter what it costs them. Okay, this is an outside influence. So this is not you. This is something outside of you. And whoever or whatever this person is, is trying to out strengthen you. They're trying to uh, make you weak in some way, knock you down, knock you off your horse. All right, and you're seeing that. You're seeing. You're seeing the manipulation, the choice that you made to possibly manipulate a situation or to be manipulated in a situation that caused this tower caused you to fall off that horse, okay? But you, you're strong, you're strong, you're hanging in there no matter what. Give you credit for that. Like I said, remember to take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If it doesn't resonate, it might not be something for you, a message for you. Um, let's see what this Four of Swords brings and the final outcome, and remember, you can change the future energy once you know it's there. Once you're aware that it's there, you can alter the outcome because you you can't change destiny, but you can change you can't change fate, but you can change in the destination that fate reaches you. I don't know where that just came from, okay? Love Queen of Cups. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, making an offer. Queen of Wands. This is somebody you find very attractive or they find you very attractive. And there's that page of wands again. But somebody's a little immature here. Yeah, or this is premature. This is, this is like, this is like somebody's coming in and scaring the pants off of somebody because there's a lot of passion, okay? 
there's love and there's passion or there could be a fire and a water sign here and this person is so indecisive that they don't know who to make the offer to they're they're very confused very um four of swords energy is supposed to be healing and and getting better but this four of swords has a different depiction it's um more of being too scared to move because you're afraid of making the wrong choice okay that's the final outcome so you can change that by making a choice because we got page of pentacles twice here which could be something with money or some kind of offer a job offer or something and the other one is passion, the Ace of Wands, the, the Queen of Wands. I mean, there's a lot of passion here. And your challenge is to work together. Like I said, I don't know what that means. You would know what that means. I don't know what that means. Okay, yeah, final outcome. You have Pisces. Somebody being deceptive about a Two of Cups. And Aries again, we have, wow. All right, well, well, Virgo, first of all, your best possible outcome is to be illuminated, to be stuck for just a minute because there's something that you have to let go of, something that you have to understand and let go of because it's very heavy, it's very burdensome, okay? And it's not, it's, it's deceitful. I mean, this is most recent past. It's deceitful. It's not. There's lies and, and, and I feel icky energy because that's the second time the Seven of Swords has come out. Somebody's lying about a, maybe a twin flame. Somebody's lying and not telling the truth. They're not. They are not. who they claim to be. But they are a master manifester. So they can manifest anything that they want. It's a Virgo, uh, Gemini energy, Aries energy. Again, so you could be dealing with an Aries. That's twice now they've come out with Aries. So somebody's lying about a two of cups situation okay and it and, and your your best possible outcome is to manifest to manifest being yourself being your own boss not worrying about dropping the burdens see the only reason why there's a hang up here from the ace to the to the master manifester is because there's been some lies and you need to let it go. You need to drop those burdens because they're holding you up from manifesting the future partner that you desire. Okay. Like I said, this ain't going to resonate with everybody, but there is something hindering your manifestation here. And only you can answer that question. Okay. Let's see what else we can get for you here. So working together is your challenge. Working together with who? I don't know. Like I said, you're going to have to answer that question. Um, I do see two feminine energies on here. So there could be two feminines. I mean, it could be same-sex relationship. Okay, and we got perfect timing. Now is the perfect moment for you to act on your inspirations. The doors are open while you walk through them with us by your side. Don't delay or procrastinate as all of the ingredients is right for your success. Everything and everyone is on your side supporting you in your positive outcome. That's awesome. 
So working together is your is your situation because your friends are trying to help you, I believe, make this decision for your most highest outcome. Whoever's lying here needs to boss up. That's all there is to it. Whether it, you, you know, it doesn't matter who that is. It doesn't matter if it's you or the other person. If you want something to work out here, you're gonna have to boss up. You're gonna have to manifest in, in a way that's best for all involved, okay? Not just for you, but all involved. This could be the one you've already met the romantic partner that you seek. So yeah. And my Virgos are players. I'm sorry, guys, but you are. You guys are players. You, you're so grounded that you see the 3D for what it is. So, therefore, you play on the playground like a big little kid. I hope that makes sense. But that's how I see Virgos. They're like, you know, well, I got this reality, you know, down pat. So, I'm just going to play with it and make it my own. <laughs> Worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. And codependency. Yeah. There's an issue here of codependency. Whether it be money, family, drugs, alcohol. The seven of swords in this tower definitely tells me that there, there is a, a codependent relationship here. It, it, it could, like I said, it could be even same sex, two females. Um, I'm kind of feeling that a little bit. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. So, this could be the one and it's worth waiting for, but codependency and addictions are affecting it. Okay? So, until you can get that under control, or the other person. I'm saying, you know, if you care about somebody that has an addiction problem and, and you want to help them, this, this totally makes sense. And it could be a work situation as well. So, like I said, take how it resonates. It may have something to do with work. You may have to drop the opinions of other people to have this reunion this this two of cups that you want and somebody's got to stop lying uh, like i said i don't know which one that is new beginnings already been lost accelerated motion authority and trapped in fear okay so here's aries again all right and the number four, which is home. And new beginnings. Heartache and loss. Accelerate in motion and trapped in fear. Look at that. Eight, eight. So your root chakra right now uh, has got you trapped. Okay, your, your survival instinct has you trapped right now. There's a new beginning and it is ordained. It is it's supposed to happen. This new beginning will happen through heartache and loss. And there's accelerated motion going on. So this is gonna happen fast. So you need to come out of this being trapped in fear. So you can see the way forward, Virgo. Because it, there's nothing to be afraid of here. Look at that star. Look at that star. It's beautiful. But I think you're scared. I think you're scared of being hurt. You've been hurt a lot. This is a new beginning. Brand new beginning. Aries energy. We just had an Aries full moon. So this may have just recently happened to you. Okay? See what else we got here. Twin flames, yep. 
karmic relationship, fleeting triggers, turmoil, resentment, lessons, letting go, and loving you. Okay. Mask. Not showing your true feelings. Hide, personify, pretend, delude, and gaslight. So, somebody, that's, that's what this Seven of Swords is. You or somebody else is gaslighting you. They're, they're telling you that things are your fault when it's really theirs or you're doing that to them. I mean, I, it's, it's a karmic relationship. It's something that neither one of you are showing your true faces with, okay? Neither one of you are being honest. Neither one of you are showing your true face here. That's how I'm feeling this energy. You're both trapped in fear and afraid to move forward. And I feel like that's, you, you didn't expect this energy to come. You didn't expect it at all. You didn't expect to think about home and family and charging in and balancing out the scales. You didn't think about that. And that's why the tower came was because you were just probably having a good time. And the, the number I get for you in this reading is 8-8. Eight, eight, so remember that and look it up. 8-8 eight, eight is a very lucky number. Very lucky number. So if you're watching this, oh wow, Sacred Union in reverse. Okay. Let me, let me read that to you because wow. You missed an opportunity or they missed an opportunity at, at, at a serious twin flame connection here. That's all I got to say. Somebody missed an opportunity and took a karmic instead of, oh wow, this is, this is too much. Can't believe this came in reverse. Usually I get it upright. Okay, so it's a challenge. Partnership and romance came in reverse. I'll read it to you. The sacred union as your challenger warns you to be careful of your associations at this time. You may be entering into a situation that will cause more aggravation and drama that you can handle. Be mindful as well of addictive tendencies in making partnership commitments. Are you choosing from an obsessive need to distract yourself from moving forward in your life? Are you ignoring your red flags in order to change the course of events to suit you? Could it be possible that the recipient, you're, that you're the recipient of mixed messages? This is a time to put in a little distance between you and your query. More will be revealed to help you make the correct choice to support your soul's growth. All right. That's all I got for you this week. That was exhausting, Virgo. <laughs> you guys have a great week, and I'll see you next time. Stay safe, stay well. Bye-bye.